This video is designed to help you fill in sections E and G of your 2016 Annual Information Statement. That's AIS for short. Your answers will appear on the public ACNC register, unless you've applied for, and we've approved, specific details to be withheld. So it's important to get them right. All the details you'll see entered in this video are based on a fictitious organisation named The Yellow Charity. They don't belong to an actual charity. Now let's begin. Section E, Other Obligations, asks you to check that certain details we hold for your charity are up to date. You will see the details we currently hold for your charity on this screen. You can also check these details on your charity's listing on the Charity Register. Question 17 asks if your charity's governing documents, responsible person's details and registered subtypes are up to date. Select yes or no. If you select no because the information is not current, you can update it in the charity portal at any time. We may also send you a reminder to update it. To move on to the next section of the AIS, click the next page button here. Section G, Declaration, will ask you to confirm that all the information provided in the AIS is true and correct. Before you sign the declaration, check your answers. For example, double check the financial section and make sure the figures you entered match those in your financial report. Make sure you also read our privacy statement detailed here. To complete the declaration, type your details as the person filling out the form. These details will not be published on the ACNC register. Then select the declaration relevant for you, either an authorised person, an agent or a lodging entity, which is a charity lodging on behalf of another charity. Sign the form by clicking the declaration box, then click the calendar button and enter the date of submission. You can then hit submit. And that's it, you have now completed your annual information statement. You will receive an email confirming that we have received your submission and a link to download it in a PDF. For assistance with the previous sections of the AIS, you can view the other videos in this series. As always, if you have any questions or need any specific assistance with the AIS, you can call us on 132262 or email us at advice at acnc.gov.au. I hope this has been useful and thanks for watching.